two minutes and counting. Liquid hydrogen replenished on the external tank is now being terminated. Don't watch. I love it. T minus one minute, 44 seconds and counting. All systems are go. At six seconds before launch, you'll see those three main engines start. They start six seconds before the uh, solid rocket boosters. We want to make sure they're up and running. 90 seconds away from the launch of Space Shuttle Discovery. You'll see a shower of sparks under those engines, burn off any excess hydrogen that might build, be built up in the area. And then those uh, engines will stay the fire. 15 seconds to count. The vehicle will rock forward about three and a half feet, and when it comes back to top dead center, we'll fire on the solid rocket boosters, blow the bolts, and the vehicle will feel bad. T minus one minute. The ground ball sequencer will verify that the three main engines are ready to start. Standing by for the GLS handover at 32 seconds. Deactivated at this time. <coughs> We're transferring to orbiter internal power. Discovery is now running off of the three onboard fuel cells. T minus 38 seconds and counting. Coming up on a go for auto sequence start. GLS is go for auto sequence start. GLS handover. T minus 25 seconds. Discovery's onboard computers have primary control of the vehicle's critical function. 20 seconds. Get ready! T minus 15 seconds and the sound suppression water system has been activated. We have a go for main. Oh, yeah! Three engines up and ready. Three, two, one. Zero. Booster again. Oh. Nine 
seconds into the flight. Discovery is now 79 miles away from Kennedy Space Center in Florida. 48 miles in altitude and traveling at 4,500 miles per hour. see some of the wind effects on the uh, shuttles and ground jets and the shear layers up there. The wind is tearing a couple of the flights. So there's a lot of wind activity going on about the space on the shuttle launch pad. Yeah, they should be getting their sunrise. Many sunrises at the SPS during the winter mission. Yeah, they're getting their sunrise at the SPS I think what we'll see here is as the sun rises, you're going to see it really react with this uh, smoke cloud. Oh, yeah. Look at that. that. Oh, wow. Discovery Houston, you are negative return. That means we can't... Negative return. You can't come back to Kennedy now, baby. Come on. They're good. Yeah, you can see the, the sun effects on the, uh, the atoms excited as the shuttle's going through the orbit, through the, uh, the trajectory right now. See all the sun is there right now? And that plume is fanned out because of the thinner air now. Yeah, this is about as good as it gets, folks, because we're almost going to see this thing to the main engine cutoff, which is uh, about eight minutes in the flight. Very rarely do you see it that far down the line. It's just a perfect situation. Congratulations. Yes. yes. On the video monitor, we can see uh, the plume out getting ready for the uh, main engine cutoff and subsequent separation of the external fuel tank. 